Yes, Mr. Jones, I have it ready for you. That'll be 90 cents and 16 points. Next, please. Who's next? Next, please. Who's next? Yes. I'd like that bone, too. That'll be one ration point. Well, I never heard of giving points to get bones for dogs. I'll give the dog his bone. unless you can chew it comes a fighting stock. We could maybe give you a big civilian defense job, like being our supply base, but you wouldn't write no uniform. What would I have to do? Well... Nice lad. But the training he'll get from this hoodlum won't do him much good. Now get off the premises. And stay in your own backyard. Now, come on, get going. Oh, Henry! Coming, Mother! Come on, here. Get, ah, get in your own yard and stay there. Who started it, Henry? 
Oh, he wanted to make a fort out of our trailer. Great it. Wish my nose didn't bleed so easy. Where have you been? Where were you during the fight? You went off and left me, huh? Hello. How do you do? The policeman's right. Spike's my son. And he's a bad influence for any boy. It was nothing. They're just boys playing. I hope you won't scold him. Scold? A beating wouldn't help him. He's past all that. You live right across the alley there. If you drop in, we might think of some way to keep our boys occupied and off the street. Nothing but a jail would ever keep him off the street. You couldn't hurt that old trailer. Why didn't you let the boys play with it? That's our home, Ma. Can't never tell them Paul decided to move on again. Don't say that. Don't even think that. Why, it's the first time we've ever had a place fit to live in. First time we've ever had linoleum on the kitchen floor. Curtains and real looking glasses. And we don't have to walk miles over the prairie just to see another human being. So we don't go crazy from being lonesome. I don't ever want to move away. I don't ever want to leave here. Well, I ain't lonesome here. Eddie. I couldn't even put up with her. Good to hear somebody laugh for a change. She sure laughs easy. Henry, you've got to learn to tolerate folks. Everybody has good points. You've got to be patient with humans, same as with animals. There's a side to humans, too. But you never fool around with a bull. Wish you got a stick for the ring in his nose. You worried about that boy, Spike? I should say not. He's not a bull. He just thinks he is. I'll find a way to make him like me, if I want him to like me. Do you know how much money I made in three days, son? No. Look. <gasps> and next week I'm on full time. We can have decent clothes now and not look like scarecrows. Everybody will like us. You can have a soldier suit or a sailor cap like those other boys now if you want. Aw. Uh. They only wear them to show off. They don't feel nothing inside. I can't be bothered with just playing it, soldier. You never rightly learned to play. But you gotta learn. Playing's important to people, especially times like this. I know, Ma, but it's different for you and Pa. You're doing more work. I don't fit in no worse. You're helping your Pa and me. That's a job, too. Look, Henry. Paper doilies instead of tablecloths. You mean you don't have to wash them? No. Oh. Did you get any ice today? Yes, ma'am. And paid for it all on my errand money. How much? Oh, no, you don't. You just said I'm in this, too. <laughs> well, put the meat on the ice and the berries in the milk. And don't shake the bottle or you'll lose the cream on top. Well, sure well off having an ice box. That Paul be surprised finding you working for what? For rich. He'll be tickled. Anybody here remember me? Why, John, we didn't expect you for another week. Well, I better get back before you run off with one of them city slickers. You looking for somebody, mister? Well, hello there, General. How's the war going? Are you winning any more battles lately? Ouch! Darn that nose. What ails it, son? You been in a fight? Only a little skirmish. Ah, these city kids ain't no good. Won't have to be bothered with them much longer. This project I've been working on is down around Oceanside. She ain't supposed to mention that because it's a gas plant making rubber. It's a great big army training camp. About 10,000 acres fenced off from the public. Saw some of those tank maneuvers down there. Chuck, you know them tanks ain't much different from tractors. Did you miss Paul? You joined up? Oh, now, son, you know there ain't no call for an old married man like me to go jumping into fighting clothes. The government will let me know when they get to me. In the meantime, I'm sticking with my family. But if a man's family's able to do without him, he needn't hold back from joining. Not if he's a mind to. It's like I ain't very welcome around here. Tell him, Ma. Tell him how much you made in three days. You working, Amy? 
Well, kind of belittles a man when, a, when his wife has to hire out. Not in war times. It releases her man to do his duty. Well, we've always been a burden to you. Well, it seems to me like that's for me to say. As far as I'm concerned, I'd like to move out of here tomorrow morning. No, John. I couldn't desert my job. Not when they're short-handed. And I want Henry to stay on here where there's so many advantages. Where he can choose what he wants to be when he's grown up. You mean to say farming ain't good enough for him? Well, maybe it is and maybe it ain't. But he's going to get an education first. Farming ain't going to be forced on him. Oh, now, Amy, don't get so all fired put out about it. This place I got in mind don't need any pioneering like we've done in Kansas and Missouri and Dakota. This place is a going place. It's 20 acres, all barren fruit trees. Laying up in the hills of only about 10 miles from the oceans. Oranges and avocados. A house? Oh, it's got a fine old farmhouse on it, built by the Spaniards. Must be pretty old, then. Well, it's kind of old, but it's got a history. But no sink or bathtub, I suppose. Oh, I'm telling you, they really built the houses in those days. It's great big timbers. Of course, it needs a little fixing up, the roofing and such, but the barn's been kept right up. So we can live in the barn like we did in Missouri till you get around to fixing up the house. Any neighbors? Oh, sure. There's a ranch about four miles away. You get that, son? There's a ranch about four miles away right where the schoolhouse is. Maybe you can ride a horse to school. It'll have to wait. Now, Amy, this can't wait. The owner's got a couple of boys in the Navy, and he's practically willing to give the place away so he can follow them around. I already got enough money for the down payment. That is, lacking a few dollars. Oh, all right. He said he'd trust me for that. There'll be no moving, John. Well, I don't know. When a woman takes to wearing the pants, I guess there ain't nothing else for a man to do but to get out. Learn to wear a girdle. Did you finish the job up there? Yeah, the company's laying us off till they start a new housing project. They're looking for men at the steel company shipbuilding department. Starting green at 78 cents an hour. Building ships, eh? You know, floods drove us out of Missouri. Lack of rain ground us into dust into Kansas. And you think I can work at anything to do with water? Water is my natural enemy. Well, I guess it's having neighbors that have you that makes you so stuck on this place. You don't like to have it four miles away, huh? Well, there's one there about four feet away. That ought to make you holler for joy. about Paul. And you want Paul to do a thing, you gotta make out you don't think he's able to. If I told Paul the city has got him licked, you couldn't drive him away. He'd stay and fight, same as I wanna do. Unless you think we're yellow. Henry, what a thing to say. Well, easy come, easy go. So long. Better luck next time. Thanks. Hello, Tate. How'd you make out? Well, I managed to save enough to pay you the rent. Forget it. After business hours, I can struggle along without yours for a while. I want you to meet an important man around here. Knows all the ropes. Eddie, this is Tate with the construction company. Eddie Moore, Tate. How are you, Tate? I Still am. on the job, Tate? Oh, no, I'm kind of laying off for a while. Oh, there's a few good jobs open right now. Glad to spot a friend of Craig is. You in the employment business? No, just good connections, that's all. I haven't seen you around recently. Where have you been keeping yourself? Oh, I've been on an out-of-town project, laying a foundation for a gas plant. Oh, is that so? Around here? Oh, well, now, I couldn't tell you that. That's a... Uh, Military secrets, you know. Ah, sure, sure, Eddie knows. He just wanted to see if you talk too much. <laughs> Come on down to the bar, buy your drink. Okay. What'll it be, Tate? Oh, beer. Bottle of beer. Better take something stronger. You look like you had a long trip. No. Nope.
less than 100 miles. Well, there it is, boys. Beat it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, so long, fellas. I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye. Good night. How's the job going? Pretty stiff work. I got a heavy cargo to get aboard a freighter by 3 o'clock in the morning. Good night. night home in two weeks. I gotta get home with the family. Give you a lift? Oh, no. I just live around the corner in one of Mr. Krager's house. He's next to the Bailey trailer. Oh, cute trick. <laughs> the Bailey them, I mean. Lots of lads. Yeah. That's right. job in the steel plant. Keeps him working day and night. But Eddie's so thoughtful. He says I don't get lonesome. Takes me everywhere. Well, my husband don't mind my going out with other men. In fact, he wants me to. He wants other men to earn me. Oh, would you mind pressing this handkerchief for me, dear? Thank you. All right, man, we'll raid the trailer now. Ain't we gonna get permission? You don't ask permission from the enemy to bomb them. Come on. Roman candles. Give me one. Wait a minute. I'm doing this. Hiya, fellas. What's up? We're raiding your trailer. Any arguments? But no trick to capture an undefended object. Want to defend it? You mean I'm one of your commandos? Nah, you can be the enemy, like a Nazi Japaraxis. Oh, uh, I'll be neuter. Okay. Now, these is bombs. You can have some of these for defense. Uh, just Roman candles and sparklers. Uh, we ain't allowed no firecrackers, you understand? Now, you get in the fort and defend it, and we'll give you a couple minutes to get ready, and then we'll come after you. Okay? Okay. Who's stopping? 
started it. A fellow with a cigarette. And what fellow? We didn't see his face, because he dropped it from a P-38. I ought to <laughs> run you in, that's what I... I'll lay a fight, but he did it, making a smoke screen. How about that, lad? Sorry, sir. I didn't make a smoke screen. I'll take care of him, mister. My boy's not anything I'll tend to myself. So, wise guy, do you remember what I told you about staying in your own backyard? You've asked for it. Come on, get in there and stay there. Hey, up! you got a permit to carry a gun. Get tough like that, and the rest of you, too. Go on, and stay out of here. Amy, imagine. It might have been awful. I might have had to be rescued, and me with no makeup on yet. You didn't set fire to that trailer on purpose, did you? So we wouldn't have to move. Well, we're just going to move anyway, even if we have to walk. Now, are we going to move out of here together, or do I go alone? I guess you go alone. Oh, that's how it is, huh? You even set my own boy against me. Now, John. Well, you set him a fine example of disrespect. And a fine education he's getting. Left to run the streets so his ma can make extra money for gym cracks. Wasn't well, Max in a thought? I wouldn't have done it on purpose. Now would I? After all the good times he's had in it. Your mother's. Aw, oh, don't worry about Ma none. I'll get her to see things our way. You know the city thing's got us slick, but... Who said it's got us slick? Why, I've been offered all kinds of paying jobs. Yeah, and I can handle anything they got and give them pointers. Yes, you could, Pa. For instance, if I wanted to turn this trailer into now, a fruit stand, how'd you go about it? Well, there ain't nothing to it. You just pull off the burnt part and hang a door over it. You put some hinges up the top, put a couple of props on the bottom to hold it open, then put a lock on the bottom, so... What do you want with a fruit stand? Well, maybe not fruit. Maybe soft drinks. Just have a business where I can make enough so we can buy a fancy trader. Like some babies over there. Gee, I bet Marge go for that. All right. You're a heap lot smaller than the other folks around here. It's a pity there ain't no way to tell a head folks about you. Shucks. They'd even be offering you army commissions to teach things to the soldiers. If they knew about you. Yeah. Hello. Uh, won't you come in? Uh, lovely day, don't you think? My boy set the fire. I'm willing to pay for the damage. But there was no damage. Well, what about the trailer? Uh, won't you come in and, and, and sit down, please? I was just about to have a cup of tea, and I'd just love to have you join me. Um, do you like sugar in your tea? Because I don't have any cream or lemon. You don't know how many years I've been hoping to get shut of that trailer. We've moved from just every place, Missouri, Hello, lad. Morning, officer. Say, why are you always defending Spike? Sure, you're no help to me. Why make war on a fellow that don't count? We got plenty to do. Fighting Nazis and Jets. Oh, you know a lot about... Oh, no. For instance, how do you go about getting a commission? Like... Good afternoon, is it? For me? For Paul. He can hit a squirrel between the eyes at a hundred yards. And no sights on his rifle. Is that so? No sights. Wait now. 
If he could do it with no gun, that would be something. It's true. I can do it, too. He taught me. Want to see? Got time, sir? Certainly I have time. That's something I'd like to see. You see, we didn't have no springs or even a trigger on our old rifle. And when you held back the hammer with your thumb, you couldn't see the sights. So we just learned not to use them. Well, that's something. Huh? Load her up again. May I have something to stand on, mister? Yeah, you betcha, sonny. Here you are. There you are, man. Is this gun loaded? Yep, far away. Sorry, sir. Well, that's all right. Let's see you do it again. Hey, that's some shooting kid. How do you do it? It's like squirting a hose to knock over a bee. Anything you look at, you hit. <laughs> all right. Let's see you hit that bird up there on the right. That's enough for me. Only the sounds of the livestock and your own voices day and night. I just love every noise here. <laughs> Even that. Neighbors visiting. Well, it just doesn't seem real yet. Joe was going from bad to worse until he finally landed in jail before he was 19. And my last boy, Spike takes after his brother. City's never been nothing but grief to me. But your son Joe's in the army now. That's wonderful. It brings me money from the government. But I don't ever hear from Joe, and I don't ever expect to. Oh, you got company. I was just wondering if your iron's still hot, if you'd mind running it over these things. Not at all. Thank you, dear. Any time in the next hour will do. I wonder if she heard. You see, Spike doesn't know about his brother Joe. When I came west to see Joe go, I stayed on, thinking maybe in new surroundings Spike had changed. But he didn't. Unless for the worst. Mrs. Bailey won't talk. She's a little peculiar, but she's sort of understanding. admire me, too. But uh, it's all on the up and up, you know. Well, so long. Well, that shows you what city life will do for you. You're going to try to make a fighter out of Hobo, huh? You know, Hobo ain't never learned nothing but to be gentle. Maybe nip at the cow's heels to hurry him along a little. Now, I guess you'll get to be mean. Maybe a killer. More than likely, he'll just fizzle out like your pa, trying to do something he don't belong to. That's me. I'm a big machinery man now in a steel mill. Did you take a job? Yeah. Instead of trying to feed the army from a farm where I ought to be, I'll probably end up being fed myself. Henry, is the man coming for Hobo, or how did you go about it? He'll be along here. Has to get yours and Pa's consent. Yeah. The duty 
Golly, Hobo. It just ain't to have a star to show off. Why put up a star? Because you're out there fighting to save us from being slaves. Do you understand, Hobo? Do you? So you see, Hobo, you gotta do your bit too. When it's all over, we'll play again. You'll see. You'll make a fine soldier, Hobo. Some dog. Some soldier. Boy, is he a fighting fool. Bet you could lick his weight in old shoes. Hobo, attack. Hey, get him out! Hey, cut him up, cut him up, will you please? Hey, you should wear a padded suit when you want to train a dog. I ain't training him. All right, going, hobo. Okay, buddy, I got your parents' consent. Have you got a leash for him? You won't need a leash. He'll follow you. All right. Come on, hobo. Can you imagine that? Hobo's a war dog. Come on, old boy. You and I are going to see a lot of each other. Now remember, bud, if there's any kind of special dog food he likes, you send it to me and I'll see that he gets it. I will, sir. Come on, hobo. I don't want you to worry about it. Good luck, hobo. Nip them nip. And I should have kicked his ribs in. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe he's only a dog, but at least he's never been in prison like your brother, Joe. That's a lie. And I'll kill anyone who says it. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! What's the matter? <laughs> You're back to John Pearson with Tarpedoes. Would you like to be our command and officer? We figure you know a lot about this strategy, and we ought to get some of it too. Did Spike send you? No, we off him, cause his brother Joe was in jail. We don't want to get mixed up with no gangster. You've got no right to hold it against him. What his brother is or does, you're deserters. Who asked you to stick up for me? What you trying to do, square yourself for starting the story? I didn't. I didn't even know about it. Well, you know now what kind of stock I'm from, so you better watch your step. I gotta lock up. Gotta go. Have to see Hobo at the training camp today. He's graduating. Wanna come along? Oh, what do you know? Ain't we palsy wowsy all of a sudden? No, thank you. I think I'll stick around and run your stand for you. We'll mind your stand for you, Hank, till you get back. Do you want a punch in the nose? Well, do I run your stand for you? Or rather, you would like to pay protection money. Well, if it isn't your friend, law and order. Darn that nose. What happened to it? Does it for no reason at all. The gang is gonna watch my stand. I gotta go see Hobo at the fort. He's graduating today. I was wondering if you could kind of keep an eye on the stand, please. And if you want something or want to lock up, here's the key. Well, sure, I'll keep my eye on it. And I know the boys will take good care of it. Ha <laughs> ha! Ain't we sitting pretty with the police? Help yourself to an apple officer. A nice red one, to match your nose. You can give Cloudy an orange, sir. And that goes for the rest of the fellas, too. So long, fellas. So long, yeah. Well, Cloudy, you're going to get an orange, are you, huh? Oh, hello, what's the bandage on your arm? Did you hurt yourself? That's my morning. Morning? It's white. Morning's black. Black didn't show up on me. <laughs>
Sorry, son. I always have to force him through smoke and water. I thought maybe he'd deliver today with you here and the other dogs leading. But I'm afraid he just hasn't got what it takes. Maybe we'll try again sometime. How are you going back to town? I'll give you a lift. How'd you like to ride the Jeep? No, thanks. Got a couple of places I want to see, something to do. Huh? Yeah, that's out of my line. Want a job as watchman? Who, me? Oh, now, just to tide things over until something better comes along. I have a few positions in mind for you where you'll be boss. No, no, that's more like it. I guess you heard about that little sample I give him over the steel mill. <laughs> I'll tell the world I did. Well, listen, you're a natural. Now, this watchman job, it's to guard a special cargo. Needs a special man. Oh, I don't know as I'd drop so low as to be a guard. I think I'll circulate around a while and see what I can run on to. Come on down and have a drink. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> think I'll join you. in a minute. Oh, I don't want nothing to eat. I might sit down for a minute and it was all right. Hobo! Henry, are you there? What went wrong, Henry? Hobo didn't make it. Well, it don't surprise me none. There ain't nothing to get upset over, son. There's lots of us trying to do things we don't belong in. What we ought to do is to quit this tomfoolery and go on back where we belong. John. What happened, Henry? Wouldn't put him in the water. Fire. He's just a coward. Hush, Henry. That isn't because he's a coward. When you were too little to remember, Hobo had some dreadful experiences. Our barn caught fire once, and he went into the burning barn and got the horses out. And then the hayloft fell on him, and he almost burned to death. Sure, horses he understands. But who ever heard of trying to win a man's war with dogs? John. 
and was from Missouri, Hobo went into the floodwaters after a chicken coop, covered with chickens. He was trying to get it to shore when, when a sudden rush of water carried him away, carried him for miles. He had an awful struggle to get out. You cried and you carried on, but you're only four and you don't remember them. Come on, Hobo. You're the best dog in the world. Come on. Here, Hobo. Take it. We're glad to have you back. Well, I'm going now. Did you, uh... Did you say anything? No. Well, I, uh... If you think... Well, I, I've been offered a job as a night watchman. I guess I better take it. I got no place to sleep anyway. John. But I tell you, I seen him, and the kid was crying. Look, there he is. Well, if it ain't my old friend, Hobo the Bozo. <laughs> <laughs> So your dog's back on a furlough, is he? Welcome home, soldier. He didn't make good. You're telling me he's yellow. You don't like fire? You don't like water. He joined the army, but he had an otter. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Brace up, Hobo. We've been through worse storms than this. You ought to know. Come on, lend me a hand. Carry some of those papers. All right, old boy. Go get some more. He sure made a monkey out of spite. Let me show you strategy. He's smart. Rely on you, men. You don't rely on us. We're reliable. If you'll run a stand, I'll pay you ten percent. Get your eyes on Where's Paul? In the bedroom. You you enlisted? No, son, I ain't enlisted. But you're in uniform. Yeah, I guess you think all a guy needs is a uniform to be a big shot. This here ain't no uniform, it's just a guard's outfit. Well, I guess I got a chance of getting shot at that. But my luck don't change. You already got a pistol, Pa. Better get the old rifle and know more about it. John. Yeah? The uniforms might be coming to you. Yeah. 
Pretty, ain't it? Well, I'm doing the best I can to keep up with you. You and your girlfriend. Which only goes to show he was just dying to grab you in his arms. That's men for you. But did you see the look he gave me? As much as to say, come here, darling, while I wring your neck. Well, then. Oh, hello, Eddie. Come on in. Hiya, Sugarfuss. <laughs> How do, Mrs. Tate? What are you doing? Getting a repaint job? Oh. Hey, that's no repaint job. She's the latest model. I'll have to put her down as a client for the SPLW. What's SPLW? <laughs> Society of Prevention of Lonely Women. Oh, Eddie. Didn't I tell you had a wonderful sense of humor? Come on, Eddie, let's get going. Now, you leave it set a couple of days, and it'll just look fine. Goodbye, Amy. Goodbye. Sunny money, Ma. Oh, the government. It's your letterman check. Oh, give me two bucks, Ma. Do you hear me? Give me two bucks. I'm going to the amusement pier. I'm sick of this bunch around here. This ain't the allotment check, Spike. This is a letter from your brother Joe. From overseas. Joe? Oh, what's he say, Ma? Almost finished. I put back all the broken places and drawn in the missing countries. Just put the Dutch East Indies back. But Henry, what's that? That's Japan. I ain't bothering to put that back. <laughs> oh, Henry. I gotta check up on a few things at the stand more. Won't be long. Don't be late. Remember the curfew. In there, Tate? Who's that? That's you, Tate. Oh, hello, Moore. Uh, okay. Sure, good sleepy. Hey, around this place all night. How you doing? Oh, all right, I guess. Hey, you better have a drink. Break you right up. Yeah, I guess I might as well. Uh, ain't nothing else to do around here. Oh, well, this job is only a temporary one. I got something else in mind for you, a good job. Lots of responsibility. Right up your line. Well, that sounds something more like it. Thanks. You know, I've been reading about these... these tanks. I've seen some of them manures. I can't figure out if they go and...
You didn't set the fire, did you, Henry? Was it my boy, Spike? I got a stew on, in the pot, I mean. First time I ever cooked in my life. Hope it won't poison you all. If it's good, I'm gonna save some for a cutie pie. He gets home tonight. Oh, it's you again. Now, don't worry, Mrs. Tate. Everything's going to be all right. Uh, Mrs. Bailey, I'll have a word with you for just a minute. Ah, oh, darling, you've read my mind. Have you got your tickets? This is the third one today. Do you think I am a ration book? Hello, baby. Are you ready? We're going to Reno. I've got the tickets and everything. We've got another going. trip coming to you, laddie. Oh, hey. Will you excuse your boyfriend? Friend? I never saw him before in my life. All right. All right. Oh. Sabotager. Oh, dear. John, where's your guard uniform? Oh, I quit that job. But I got another one. Doing what? Oh, I just made up the mind to do it, and I'd done it. I enlisted. John, what? you didn't need to. I'll go to the farm, and we'll raise avocados. Oh, no, we won't. I just had one. <laughs> Come in. Who's running this house? Come in. John Tate? Yeah, that's me. Henry Tate? Yes, sir. I have the honor of informing both of you and your dog, Hobo, that you have been recommended for a citation for valor. Congratulations. <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you think of that, Amy? 